live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri. He is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable K. KSM Show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Let me tell you something you haven't thought of. You know, this past Christmas, there was only one person who was competing with Christ for attention, man. Shows a lot of Who's that? Christmas, they're not a Christ show. But I'm telling you, this past Christmas, will be my Jesus at competition. Pa. Do you know what I'm talking about? While we're preparing for Christmas, there was this lady doing her singathon, and trust me, the whole Ghana did her to singathon to see this lady. So let me introduce the only person I will compete with Christ. Put your hands together, show some love for uh, for Asatoa uh, <laughs> 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 and Yolu. Welcome to the show, welcome thank to the show. You, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Please have a seat. Good to thank have you me. here. Same here. Okay, Meeting folks. you. She's here with us. We're going to take a short commercial break. Let me remind you, that at the end of the show, Ziggy Boogity, my number one, number uno sportscaster, will be here with us. And when we come back, I'll be talking to the only person who competed with Christ this Christmas. Sika Ran will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> the KSM Show. Is it the luxurious rooms? or the serene green surroundings? Is it the tempting swimming pool? Or the classy conference room? Or the cute gift shop? Maybe it's our chef's array of cooking delights. Whichever way, it's all about Cactus Creek. A most respected hotel. 055 -039 -5007. KSM show. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. I for I said to her, a junum, a junum fifty. Were you aware that who can I'm a Christ competition during Christmas? <laughs> or you haven't thought about that? I've never thought about it, but this is hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's, it's true, you know. It is true. <laughs> Bring your dear money, Christ. Then they said some lady was doing singathon. But congratulations, uh, thank by the way. Thank you so much. And I pray God pardons me. <laughs> <laughs> he will. He understands. Definitely. And welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Wow. Well, we, we have so much to talk about. Exactly. And um, I don't even know where to start, you know. But I, I remember before the singathon, you, you were like sky high, you know. It was all about this lady who wants to sing continuously for <laughs> I don't know how many weeks. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> yes. You know, and then all of a sudden when it ended, then I, I just saw some bad press creeping in here and there. We'll talk about that. But before then, before then, what inspired you? Um, I love music and I always say that I don't like being comfortable. You don't like being comfortable? I always want to dare myself. Like, for instance, I do events in Ghana, but I want to dare myself to do a global event. So it's something that I grew up with. I always want to try something new. Mm. So I was done with my event for the year. And I decided that, look, I need to do something before December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when I went on their platform, the Guinness World Records platform, I realized that they will confirm your application if only you are, you are supposed to get it in 12 weeks. So I calculated. And so apparently, I was actually supposed to do it, it this Easter. 
per my calculation and mm. the approval. Mm. But God in his own ways um, made it quicker than I thought. Mm. And it, it came in, in November ending. November ending. Yeah, so I was just bored and I decided to jump on. I mean, I saw or heard of um, Hilda Bassi's attempt in Nigeria and I was so inspired. If a woman could stand on her feet for days to cook, I'm call her a woman. And changing the narratives, empowering women, I'm a woman empowerment advocate. Mm -hmm. So what can I also do? Mm -hmm. And so I, I went on there. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and folks, before I start, let me let me quickly add on that she's also the CEO of uh, Ask Up Productions. Ask Up Productions. And you do events. Yes, uh, but we, we run about five events a year. Five events a year. And you have women's empowerment as one of the key things you Our do. Our core objective. The core objective yeah. is women's empowerment. The event is around the women, girl, child, and all that. Okay, okay, great. I just had to correct myself because That's okay. now that you decided on Singathon, it was all part of I'm a woman, and this is one of the things we can do. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm a mother of three. And so that alone is even an inspiration on its own. Mm. And a lot of married women, a lot of women with kids are even asking, a mother with three kids, how are you able to stand on your feet mm. for five days? Mm. Childbirth mm. is no limitation mm -hmm. to what you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there are so many sides to what I did. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to where you started. So you wanted something. You don't like being in your comfort zone. No, no, no. You organize events. Yeah. And so you're thinking of what you can do. What next? Like an okay. Yeah. So that led you into this whole aspect. Yeah. Of so I, I was at home and I just went on their website, saw millions of records, very easy ones that you do in seconds. But no, I don't want something that I can, I can easily do. It will not, you know, hold water for me, as mm. we say in G. Yeah, so I decided to go for the fastest woman 100 meters runner in heels. The fastest woman 100 meters runner in, in heels. heels? Yeah. You wanted to do that? Yes, and I remember I took some notes that I was going to do this at the Elwak, uh, you know. <laughs> You are ready to run 100 meters in heels. <laughs> in heels. So I searched online which type of heel I was going to use. It was very interesting. And, you know, when I discussed it with my better half, he said, no, in case you break your leg in the process, how would you recover quickly mm. to complete whatever you started? So mm. it's, it's a no. So that was what went against you running in heels? In heels. In case you break your leg, the healing, the healing time. Yeah. Okay. So I decided to go for another. Then I saw the longest singing marathon by an individual. Mm. And it was a record set in 2012. So I, I said, oh, so nobody wants this record. Then let me go in for it because I love music and we've been talking about how we can put Ghanaian music on the map like our neighboring mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. country Nigeria, Nigeria. does mm -hmm. or is doing. So I linked all the dots and I realized that it's going to solve a lot of things. One is going to be something that I love doing mm -hmm. and I enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. Two is going to push Ghana, our music industry. The limelight. Of yeah. course. And then three, all balls will be on Ghana because I'm the second First female to even attend, attempt this particular record. First female? Globally. Show some love, man. First wow. female. All the men that have attempted, except the current record holder, could not even go past day three. Wow. Yeah. And so I even did, the men couldn't go past day three? No. And your intention was to do what? I, I, was, I wanted to do five, even seven days. But of course, we ended on the fifth day. And that was 126 hours, 52 minutes. And the current record is 105 hours. Yeah, so we realized that, or we did our deductions and calculations that all things being equal, mm. even if they decide to take 17 hours off my 126, it's still more than 105. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we did. So you went for it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, let, let, let's go through this thing, you know. So you were up for five days? Yes. Were there moments that you said to yourself, ah, if you're not crying, <laughs> is this, you know, did you go through moments that you felt like, okay, I've done enough, or you just wanted to do? Okay, so the, the, I started at 12 a.m. on 24th, mm -hmm. dawn. So by morning, I was already into some hours. And then the first 24th minutes or hour, I saw people cheer me on, and I was like, okay, 
before starting this, people said, I can't even do 30 minutes. I mean, who does that? Mm. Who would sing even four hours? And so when I did day one and I saw the claps and all that, I had some encouragement. Mm. And I realized that, okay, so this is how it's going to work. Immediately, I get a clap. It means I've gone past the day. Mm. But it got to, I think there was, there was a day, I didn't even know which day it was. I mm. asked the witnesses what day, they said they wouldn't tell me. They said they wouldn't tell you. Yeah, I lost track of the days. But anytime they cheer me on, they start jubilating, I look at the clock and it's like, okay, you've done 24 hours, an additional 20, then I'm like, okay, we've gone past the day. And that was a motivation for me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you some love. Physically, you, you, you must have been tired. I was tired. You, yeah, you were tired. <laughs> yeah. I was, even before I started, I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the, the, the email came, I think, 29th November. Mm. I saw it sit December. Mm. And that was like two weeks and some days to the start of the record attempt. No venue. And it was my first time. Who will give you space? You need a box, who is going to fix the box for you? It's December, all companies have closed their budgets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who are you going to? So how did you do it? Who fixed the box? We were how running Helter Skelter. We went to some spaces. They gave us invoices of about 100,000. And finally, finally, we got a GTA, Ghana Tourism Authority, to give us the Aquaba Village. Oh, and we, OK. We, we got there with the CEO, and the grasses were somewhere. I said, hey, Rade, when you hear with your mommy, so I swear food. So at what point are we going to, you know, get rid of all these grasses and get the thing done? But we just held on to faith, and then we grabbed the venue. And so Wednesday to the Sunday that I would start, we got home, and we had some nice visitors visit our home. Cool. We had some robbers in our house. You had them robbers? Yes, and all doors were intact, all windows were intact. We don't know how they entered, but they had scattered everything in our room. They didn't take money, they didn't take laptop, they didn't take anything. They only took Mr.'s perfume and deodorant. <laughs> and they hanged his clothes, they took his clothes from the wardrobe and hanged it on our dry lines and on the walls, and then they left. That was the day before? That was the Wednesday before I started on Sunday. Mm. Yeah, so we saw it as like some sort of warning, some sort of threat, but I've not offended anybody and he has equally. So what, then it's basically the singathon. So I got scared and Thursday I had a lot of stuff running through my mind. Do you still want to do this? Mm. I mean, but one other thing that also encouraged me was whoever did that is scared of what I'm coming to do. Mm. And that's a sign of weakness on his or her side. Okay. So, so that kept you going. It, that was like, girl, you have to do this. Whoa. And then I, I went in. So I was tired before I even started. Before you started, you were? Nama <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you start anyway. Yeah, I started with a very dry Sunday morning at the aqua, I mean, airport. Who, li who lives at airports anyway? <laughs> so there was nobody around. And I got so emotional when I did the first four hours. And you could only see my dad, my husband, my team. You see, they play the song. The ones they like, they sing along. The ones they are not cool. And then I remembered that, girl, you wanted to do this in your living room. Now you are here. So even if nobody shows up, what's your problem? Hmm. And that is not your motive. Your motive is to finish this thing in this number of days. So concentrate. So how long did it take before people started coming in? I didn't even realize it. But the first day was... I just saw empty. my team, my family, they were seated under the canopies. But I don't know at what point. I don't know. I got carried away with what I was doing. I didn't care who was standing in front of the glass. It was just me and the DJs, even the witnesses, I will not remember their faces. Who were the witnesses? They were attorneys oh, that okay. the Ghana Bar Association... The Ghana Bar Association gave you attorneys? Gave me attorneys. witnesses. So there were specifics in the guidelines. You mm -hmm. cannot just use anybody as a witness or a timer. It has to be an attorney. And the witnesses shouldn't be somebody probably I know through you mm -hmm. or there shouldn't be any... Mm -hmm relation so it has to come from the Ghana Bar Association. Okay so how and many witnesses did they send you? Um, we had like six they were running shifts and the timers also came from the sports um, ministry they gave us timers as well yeah so I didn't know any of them and 
I might even meet Obi Kwame in Kaino, but I don't remember. Mm. Yeah. So they had the witnesses, had those who were doing the timing. Yeah. They will go and rest more and come back now. They, you're, uh, you're... Some come from 6 to 12, they go, and then another team comes from 12 to 6. They were doing that. So at times I'll be singing and I realize that they are not the same people I was dealing mm. with before. Mm. And I'm like, oh, okay, they've, they've, they've swapped. Changed. Yeah. So it was, it was like that. So at what point did you realize you have taken on a very awesome job that you, you know, what point did you... It was day three. Day three? What was going on? Day, day three, three, I cried. You cried? I'm being teary. <laughs> <laughs> day three, I cried because then I had playbacks of when I wanted to do this. I had some DM, you know, attacks from people I, I have never met before. And they were like, yeah, Jane, who are mine? No, you who so so they will sing at on but it's in Nipa, you know. And they DM so, you with that. Yes. <laughs> so it demoralized like, you. It, so I didn't have control over the trend, and it, it seems to have been like the singathon had taken over even politics. Yes. So I yes. became like a disturbance to some certain people, and I didn't even noticed that there were even events booked for that same December mm. that the singathon overshadowed you everything. know so the the energies were many and so I decided to shut down on socials before I started mm. I think the the last four days before I started I just go on my whatsapp post my countdown at work and I'm gone Mm. So that was what helped me. Mm. I was not listening to radio. Even my WhatsApp contacts could tell how many times I come online. Mm. And that was it for me. Mm. So mm. I think that it really helped me. Wow. So there was a lot of negativity. Extreme. But the love was massive. But of course, I always say that those who love you will not post you every day to say, if yeah, you did well, yeah. you did well. But yeah. those who, who hate you, they will, have time. They, they will find, <laughs> even this, yeah. they can tell you that one is out if they really want to come after you. So I, I realized that I just have to deal with it and just go off. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you advise yourself to stay off social media because I just decided negativity to. was getting too much. Yeah. And I in, in the application, it's just me and Guinness. I told them I want to do this and they have signed a consent. We, we have assigned an agreement that uh, you, are, you are supposed to do this on this date. If you don't do it, Guinness will not come and say, these people did not allow you to do it, so you are pardoned. Mm. So it, the focus was on what I have told myself that I want to do and I, I have to do it. Mm. So day three, it was, it was an emotional moment for me when the I, I think that day I, I heard and saw numbers jubilating, mm. looking at the time that that was day three. I said, oh, now we are on day three. How did we even start? Wow. So I became very so you emotional. became aware of the numbers watching On you? day three. On day three? Yeah. How do you feel when you saw the numbers out there rooting for you? So when I was singing, I started, heard them, I heard them shout and say, ah, then see. Mm. I thought probably something. And then I realized that they were looking at the screen, the TV down there. That means they were looking at the time. So it was the first time I actually paid attention to the clock set. Mm. I didn't want to watch because I didn't want to be tell, telling myself, okay, you've done 16, it's left with 100 and something. You didn't want to know. I didn't want to watch. I just wanted to be singing and we are going. All I know is Adiasa. Okay. <laughs> so when they watch down there, I'm like, okay, so something is happening. Then I turned and I saw there, I said, oh, okay, we've done day three. After the third day, whatever happened, I don't know. You don't know? You blacked out? I was hallucinating at some point. What, when you're hallucinating, what exactly were you going through? Were you seeing? Sometimes I feel like, I, I don't even remember in Takwaba village. I remember there was one time I was singing, we are going, and there were a lot of Ghana flags. And now I hear me to say, Achimota School Park, Bisukra, Nayo. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was, I don't know. It's an experience that I wish everybody could have. When you are doing something extraordinary, and mm. I can relate it to being dead and not knowing when you, where you are. Probably because I see the people, I see the flags, I see everybody singing, we are going. But I don't remember it's Akwaba village. Sometimes I even feel it's my home. Wow. 
Yeah, so I see some videos of me lying on the floor, lying in the car, and now then I know you I don't know. It's a very beautiful experience, and anything could have happened, but that was a risk I decided to take mm. for my motherland. Mm. Mm -hmm. And and who was watching that? You could tell, say, wait, you could see your mom. Uh, no, so I couldn't even remember there were cameras in the box. And see, my um, events uh, producer. Sometimes you're like, I saw a free camera anymore. I'm like, ah, there are cameras here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were capturing it live. So I couldn't, sometimes I move from where I am to the DJ's place, you know, I'm like, you know, and they're like, you've left the, the, the camera, the camera area. I'm like, sorry, I, I didn't even know there was a camera around. So he prompts me most of the time that you are out of the scene, go in, go in, and then I go in. Mm. Yeah, so they helped me. Most often. But you wanted to stay on because I, I remember, I don't remember the day I came on, you know, but uh, I was in the crowd. I think I saw a big Santana, uh, Chami Kwami. Yeah. And I think I, on stage you said, say, or something. <laughs> yeah, so I have a, a, a philosophy that when you start doing something and you face challenges, second, third day, the rest of the days you are good to go. Mm. The first day was okay. The second day, I lost my voice. Mm -hmm. The third day, I started developing a sore mouth. But I was able to sing throughout the third day without what was going through in my mouth. Mm. And I said, oh, Anna, two weeks, cry, we can go. <laughs> so, and, <laughs> and you know, when I, when I went on their platform, you realize that, and even the Nigerian lady, yeah. she, she did have the record. And someone took it away so quickly. Mm. So I wanted to do something. That it would be very hard to take away. Yeah. And so Sunday, it's a Sunday dinner and number 200 and something hours. So Sunday will be perfect. Now they are sorry, upon show, no. And then they said, la la, today, Friday, we are done. <laughs> I said, you people shouldn't do this to me. They said, we are not going to listen to you because right now you are full of so many emotions and sentiments. You are not thinking straight. You are even changing. Your face is changing. Your body, you know, you are changing. So let's end it. 126 is okay. I said, it's not okay. 126, somebody can easily break it. They said, no, we are going. So you wanted to keep going? Yes. So you are, you are satisfied that maybe I'm not with you, nobody can touch yeah. this record? I'm going to go to the microphone and I'm going to go to Yeah, but I mean, it's okay. They, they, I was doing it with the team. That's why in the beginning I kept saying that this is a record attempt where even if the DJ makes a mistake, you'll be unsuccessful. Mm. Mm. It might not necessarily be me because everybody could tell that I was singing, even mm -hmm. though they said no jamming, but I know the old boy, you can't play a Ghanaian song and not, and not dance. Jam. Mm -hmm. When you come, so I was like a crowd, mm -hmm. then you're okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when they play Monica, I dance. Mm -hmm. Prior, I dance. And they pardoned me even on all that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the Guinness people enjoyed my they video. Enjoyed I, yeah. They had fun, especially when I'm sleepy. It got to a point I was fighting sleep like my enemy. Wow. Yeah, I wow. rubbed my hand in my head. It's like getting that. very, very exciting. Yeah. For let's be right there. Okay. Taking a short commercial break. When we come back, okay. we'll continue. Definitely. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs> the KSM Show. Is it the luxurious rooms? Or the serene green surroundings? Is it the tempting swimming pool? Or the classy conference room? Or the cute gift shop? Maybe it's our chef's array of cooking delights. Whichever way, it's all about Cactus Creek. A most respected hotel. 055 039-5007 Hi, 
Hi, my name is Angela Metal, a massage therapist at Cactus Creek. My job is simply to pamper you with the three hours, to relax you, to revitalize you, and to rejuvenate you. Come and let me pamper you. We are offering a 10% discount off on all products and services, including spa, to all women during the month of March. 055-039-5007 Most of you are loving my jacket. Mr. Sao. Hey, me feel rough. The jacket is provided by Asepa Essentials. So if you want some, this is the number to call. 0247 6619838. So call as a pa and get yourself a pretty decent jacket. Bema Beng and a man in our two guns. Or you'll be on the BBI of the baby. It's disturbing. He doesn't let me talk. Hmm, what's your hard way? And I'll find for your beer or pay DJ, not for Fabi Bia Fala. Hmm, and also, I'm pretty sure they're hard way. Are you a better than a hard way? See, I know, Bobo, Bradia, and you'll feel for you now, bro. So, when did they are cost you a shaker? Are you, man, and a da hoy, and tough for Ben, almost it, Nelson Munk. This guy is just mad. I send Ben Pan, a ban, and tough way, and two more. He came into my house. Dressed like me, imitating me, me me ban him hold on. Oh no, ban me fear. I want to tell my brother. I can't do it. I send me, I send me see. Now, I beg you, go see say. Oh, come on, Johnny, I need. Come on, Bruni. I'm a still character man. Hmm. Ena, oh, Bruni, come on. Come on, you are there. On the NDK Movie Production, Guy City Entertainment, and the KY Films. And the comedy, pa pa pa, eh, bro. Now, best three, ah, three, ah, now we fear ah, you here. This is a fifty million dollar check for you. Fifty million dollar. Any FNC? Call me at Ta. Talk now. A good deal. Don't need to take long time to be done. The KSM Show. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And this is getting so exciting. <laughs> so the, the music sort of can ginger you up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The choice of song can really ginger you. And the choice of song can also be your doom. Oh, really? Yeah, sometimes you might think, oh, this song is a song I really know, but might not necessarily be good for your vocals mm. based on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I admit that some of the songs weren't supposed to be on my list, mm. but because I love them, I put them there to, mm. you know, keep me going. Mm. Yeah, so mm. it was okay. Okay. So so we've talked about the great things, well, everything that you went through. Yeah. Okay. Now let's let's look at the other side of this thing, you know. What what were your deepest concerns as the show was going on? So you had a doctor there, a voice coach, yeah. production manager, yeah. parents, people watching. Yeah, so one of the major concerns was when I saw the kids come through because kids were not supposed to be there. And I didn't have control in the box to stop a parent from approaching me with their kids. Okay. And the kids came in there with motivational messages mm. that equally inspired me. Mm. So that was one of the concerns that I wish. And the team cannot also stop a parent from bringing but what I know is that GTA plays the uh, playing ground for the kids but with the numbers that I saw after I can admit that no parent would easily let go of his or her child because mm. of the rules and majority of the people didn't know the rules mm. and my other concern was when I lost my voice also I remember um, my husband was trying to see if we could get a drug 
no matter how much it cost to revive the voice the lost voice but it was to no avail so it became a problem and there was no medication i just had to resort to honey and so i just used some takashi to you know whether off or on we, we will sing it like that and that was the terrible voice that most people were listening to whilst on the grounds and on tv mm. and so for me it was it was tough but it was for a reason that i have i have I have known now that when my voice went off, they were laughing. But it actually puts, it's like there's something running down, down, down on the global map. It's like there's something running. It's like there's something running. It's like there's something running. Chop, chop. <laughs> Celebrities globally are using that sound and asking who song is it. I mean, wow. they are promoting wow. Jackie Kaka. Wow. Uh -huh. wow. So, wow. yeah, it was a concern, but I mean, it was okay. It had, it had a good. Uh... And at the end of the day, it, it came out positive for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you go through the whole thing, and when did you decide to stop? Because they wanted you to go further. The day actually. Okay, so it was Friday morning, and apparently not my you could that they did some coup on Thursday night. That I wasn't aware that they would stop me on Friday. And that coup, I, I, I had a little of it somewhere when I was going to take my bath in the night. I said, okay, these people are doing a coup about me. I saw they're standing three, three, four, five. I said, okay, you will see. Not knowing they were more than me. I was just one. Mm -hmm. And so Friday morning, I realized that it was a, a, a decision they took together. That and I'm you. doing this with the team. So if the team, for some reason, says that, hey, girl, it's OK. Let's end it. I think I need to listen. Because if they all leave me in the box, who will be playing the song for me? Mm -hmm. Who will be recording mm -hmm. and all that? Who, so. who, who, who makes the team? The DJs, um, my immediate Ask of production team, mm -hmm. and then volunteers who were on board, the attorneys, the health team, and then my family. Mm. So they were the team around. So they got together? Yes, and, and then Ghana Tourism, uh, Ghana Tourism Authority. They were f in full control because we started with them with the planning of the box and all that. So it was, it was a collective decision. And... They did, they did me bad. <laughs> <laughs> so they said, you are stopping. It's no way. Yeah, you 20 hours grief is why 100 answers. You've still passed the record, so let's go home. <laughs> and I said, OK. Um, I thought that in case, worst case, they would take some hours off. And then I would still have my record. So I, I held on to that. And then I was, I was OK. Mm, mm, mm. So, so it ended on day on day five on day five yeah you have been on your feet for five days and nights yeah singing yes and you wanted to do more yes it is it's the best way i mean to do something globally that nobody has done before you should do it and do it well hmm. and make sure that it's not easily taken away from you hmm. so if i've been able to go past five days God forbid, even if I had done seven days and collapsed on the seventh day, I've still done enough. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. my motivation. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And you, you didn't think the five days, even though you had broken the record, you still were not happy with it? Where is the energy coming from? Nipa one hour, five days. We see in to two days more. You know that everybody is unique. But I, fe I feel you have to dig deep to find out your uniqueness. Mm. So that was what I think I had that I didn't even know before applying. Hmm. I didn't even know I had the, the stamina, the zeal. Even in the box, I kept asking myself, who are you? You were asking yourself? I was not tired. I was hungry, but I was not tired. I was just hungry. I'm a pefufo kaka. That was so difufo. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I, I was hungry. Yeah. And I felt it, it affected me in a way because the nutritionist said they should give me pancake, rice water, something to keep me light. But what I did was not just sitting and singing. I was very active. You know, the energy was there, but at a point I lost the energy and I needed some gobe and... Uh, 
So, so what, 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 when you finished, what was the first thing you ate after you wrapped up? <laughs> they ordered fufu from me from Okodie. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the Wednesday that I had really wanted, the Wednesday that I fought the nutritionist, when we went on break, I said, Charlie, come on, me. Now, what am I going to do? And then, I said, oh, now that the food was ready. Then you had a soma? I, yeah, I had a terrible soma. My tongue was everywhere in my mouth. So? I, at a point, I felt my teeth would even fall off. So wow. when my throat healed, it came to, it came to my mouth. Mm. And but I was singing. Hmm. Yeah. Were you doing this just being inspired by the pain you were going through? Say, I, I have to do this. Yeah. Or at some point you just lost track of everything and you didn't. My, care. my fear was not to finish the days. So this was my point. Even if I finished the number of days and Guinness says, hey, you did. You repeated a song before four hours. I'll be okay. I didn't want a failed attempt. Unsuccessful, at least I completed. Mm -hmm. It's like running a hundred meters and you are the fourth runner. Mm -hmm. Or going a thousand five hundred meters. It's not like you stopped and left the race. Mm -hmm. You finished. You finished. And you still participated. Mm -hmm. You are eighth, you are ninth. It's, it's a, a, a stepping stone to doing a better one next you time. Finished. You finished. So that, so was, that was my goal. motivation. Whatever it is, and I me, must me, There are men who didn't go past day three. But if I go past day five, I mean, hey. Oh, you be. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now you've gone past day five, you've yeah, done all and, of this. And, and um, I mean, even Guinness themselves cannot believe it. And I know Sanyo, who is the current record holder, he he doesn't even believe I did five days. Yeah, because he did four days. Did he, he did four days, nine hours. And I did five five days, some more hours, making hundred and twenty six hours. So for me it was it was very successful. Mm-hmm. It was. And I was. walked to my hotel. I was not carried there. You walked to your hotel? And I said, I walked to my car, got to the hotel, mm -hmm. walked. No, see, 90. And I said, young, 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 but the men, they carried them to the hospital. <laughs> 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 they carried them to the hospital. Hey, you can Google, they are there. <laughs> they, you type, I don't want to mention yeah. the country, then they'll come and attack me. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been through all of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Successfully, you have finished. I have finished, and uh, they said uh, I was unsuccessful. Yes. To so, them. So, how were you processing all of that? What was she? You know, people are like anticipating, say, did she win? There's a whole period that people were wondering. We haven't heard from uh, the Book of Records. Has she won? Did she get this? <laughs> Whatever. We wanted to know. When you heard. Okay, so when I started, I had a blank sheet and an, and an excitement spirit that I'm doing this for Ghanaian music. I knew when you finish, you get a record, a certificate and all that, but I lost control over that assessment stuff mm -hmm. and was into the act itself. Mm. So sometimes people would say, oh, she did this for fame. She did this because she wants to become popular. Who would want to stay awake for five days to become popular? I could do so many other things to become popular. But I didn't pay attention to all those stuffs. And I knew that this was a record. And Guinness will tell you, this is an attempt. Mm -hmm. They will decide whether you were successful or, or not. not. So it's an open check. Mm -hmm. Fill in your hours. Mm -hmm. We will decide whether you deserve the cash or not. Mm. So I psyched myself and my husband also did psych me that whatever we are going into, even if you don't go past two days, just know that you have done your best. Mm. Mm. And so I remember the first day my coach came in and during one of the breaks, he was like, you know what? You have done what uh, no musician has done. Nobody has sung for even mm -hmm. a day. Mm -hmm. So if right now you say you won't do again, again. let's go home. That's why he told me. I said, Coach, no, 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 no. <laughs> We've not even started. <laughs> yeah, so that was his motivation. And during the rehearsal days, we do four hours 
And at home, I do 10 hours on my own. Mm. I sing for 10 hours mm. on my to own. To rehearse. To rehearse. So he was like, girl, when we start and anything hits you, just know that even the thought of doing this is a success. Mm -hmm. So I had that in mind. Mm -hmm. And so we were even planning, I think in February, we were planning first week in February, we started discussing um, what if the results come? How are we going to communicate to Ghanaians? And then my team said, we came in with a press conference to announce our intentions. So let's start writing to hotels to find space to do a press conference when the results come in. And that same day, we decided and concluded that we'll pay for priority review. So we were having all those meetings before Guinness responded via social media that I was unsuccessful, mm -hmm. which we had already had a communication about a problem with my account. So that was how the whole news came. Mm -hmm. And I saw the screenshots. I was at a program that I was hosting. I was very solemn. And I told myself that this is not going to pull me down. Even though I saw a few comments that were harsh, mm. I said that, girl, you know what? A lot of people supported you and yeah. emotionally, yeah. they'll be down. Yeah. So it's fine. Yeah. And so uh, after the presentation that night, we had wanted to respond on Monday. And then one of my principal leaders were like, no, you can't wait till Monday to respond to this. And I said, they have responded via social media, mm -hmm. but not through my official account. I don't have access. So what am I going to say? I need to come out with reason I was unsuccessful, um, what actually caused, you know, mm. but I don't have that. Mm. All I have is what everybody has seen online. And that will not be enough. Mm. And they said, okay, but you need to let people know that you've seen and heard, I mean, what is going on, which of course I had seen. So I had to let people know that, okay, I have equally seen what they have also seen. And at the right time, I will address them as to what was happening. Mm. But I didn't want to drag my team into why the account was locked out, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's stay on that for a second, because, um, that is when I said, when we began, it was like on a high, all the praise, yeah. you know. And then all of a sudden, the narrative changed. Yeah, like, like uh, oh, this girl approach is dishonest. She oh. knew she had <laughs> no. failed. No. She just not communicate that to us. Not all, all that was going on, how were you processing it? And why did they decide that you knew you had failed? I was just looking for the, f the one person who officially started that dishonest conversation and ask him one thing. What makes me dishonest? The account is for me and Guinness, or Guinness and I. If I don't log in, you don't get in. If I don't go in, I don't even get to see what they are telling me. So how do you mean I'm dishonest? And you are saying a team member told you. I know all my team members. Those who even a have- A team the, member told them what? That I, was, that I knew- That I you was, knew. Of course. So I just wanted to know that one person, for that one person to tell me who the team member is or was. So I went back to my team and I said, okay, this is what is out there. And I had not communicated with anybody. So who told this person that I knew? And then that person that the person said had spoken to said, the person approached him and said, ah, now wouldn't you say if we are successful? And I said, where the markers are? Yeah, we are record no more. I can say you be deny if we are in the forefront. That was the conversation. So if as a media personality, you have this conversation with a friend, and he says this, and you put it out there. Oh, say if one him say one yes successful. So she said this honest person. No, it doesn't work like that. At that point, I couldn't even go into my account. I couldn't. So that was one major thing that I sat down quietly and I said, wow. So I have been able to do this for my motherland, mm -hmm. but an email issue could turn things around in seconds. Mm. Then what was the point? Mm. Yeah, mm. so it was really, I was down, but I just motivated myself that whatever it is, it was successful for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like, show some love, man, show some love. Yeah. And, and it was successful. But where do you have any occasion to think, hey, Masi Denny? <laughs> <laughs> eh? 
I went through this, <laughs> hoping I'm putting Ghana on the map. I'm yeah. trying to push Ghanaian music. <laughs> one of them has become a hit all of this. And, and this is how I'm rewarded. And that one, yeah, it mostly comes from my mom. You your know? mom? Your mom said that. My mom, my mom is is in California, and she's always on YouTube. You know, <laughs> that's her sort of entertainment. Okay. And sometimes she, you know, this was global. It yes. wasn't just Ghana. So your mom was watching you from. Hey, of course, supermarket, cry, singer, mother. And, and so she's equally receiving the funds and all of that. <laughs> and so she gets people approaching her that, hey, Auntie Christine, in your baby, in age, you know, think I'll be here now. And think, what is the point? So she will call me, if are you okay? I'm like, Mommy, I'm okay. We are sure. And I'm sorry, if I stand to, if I stand to, if I, oh, my baby, what bread? Who goes so bread? Then we laugh about it. Then she's like, if I, why you be? So it was my mom who was like, you know what? And anytime she sees me go for an interview, she will watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then she watches with her friends over there. Mm -hmm. So she's like, girls, stop, stop explaining. Because it's like when you say A, they will turn it and add another straight to it to make it look like W. Mm -hmm. So just stop. And then I said, okay, so they are fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, they see some funny, funny one. They said my, my mom and dad are divorced. They said my dad adopted me. He brought me into the marriage. My dad is a drama. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I was an upcoming artist that failed a whole lot really? <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. Yeah, so the only problem that, it's not even a problem. I just don't like the fact that unsuccessful or failed is attached mm -hmm. to my name. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I Google my name and all you see is a first and twins unsuccessful attempt, attempt. So that's the only thing that I, I am thinking through. I don't mm. want that. Mm. You don't like that tag that you were not successful? I don't give up in life. So seeing those things, when I see it, then I, I go mad with myself mm. that I wish I could even do another one tomorrow. Are you going to do another one? I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. You're still thinking? Yeah. What if you... Oh, I'm going to do it. What if you... I'm going to But I, I just need to be extremely careful mm. with my decision. Mm. So... So your, your, your parents were all thrown into this? They, they were bashed? They are divorced? You were adopted? All of this? Oh, I saw one too. In the box, they said I'm pregnant and my family has allowed me to do this. <laughs> I say, hey, hey, I'm pregnant, pa. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a breathing technique my coach taught me. The right way to breathe in is when you breathe in, your tummy must come out. Your tummy must come out. Ma that's the right way, way to, to breathe, breathe in. in. But when we breathe in, we tummy tuck instead. <laughs> so anytime you see, yeah. there are videos you see, or there are times you see him outside the box, yeah. he will do. You'll be doing this. Release your tummy. Release, release, release your tummy and breathe in. So that's what I was doing. Mm. And people thought I was pregnant. Mm. And so they had the backlash there too. Mobana nyamana mama na koshe box mu, you know. Wow. Yeah, and wow. all those stuff. So wow. they they equal, they had they and had your, your husband has a fair share too. What did you say about oh, your husband? Oh no dear when young kasan kasan kasan. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, I mean, sometimes people send me interesting stuff from the internet. The earliest one I had was regarding his support for me and that he's old and I'm married to an old man and all that. And this is your husband. Mm. 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 Yeah, so I had all that. I would wish you were been here with you. So that <laughs> I wanted to ask him, how was he processing it? But let me ask you on his behalf. Oh, he is very okay. He was okay with it? My husband. He's very okay. Mm. And he's worried when I am worried. Mm. So sometimes when a few gets to me and I'm ranting at home, he'll be like, you keep telling me you are okay, but you are worried They're about not, this yeah. thing. Just forget them. They are saying what they know. They see me not sleeping after five days and they think that's my current look. You know that's not me. Mm. Nobody will mm. stay awake for five days and look like his normal days. So ignore. I'm like, okay, well. Mm. Yeah, so he's very okay. What does he do? He's um, a sports editor at Daily Guide. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. He's a sports journalist, basically. So you mentioned to him that you wanted to do this, and he said, go ahead, let's, let's do this. Uh, yeah, what? so when we, so, okay, let me take you back. When I told him about the 
athletics one and he denied or ignored when I did the longest singing marathon application, I did not tell him. Mm -hmm. But I just told him that this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But going through the application, he was not aware. Okay. I only told him that, you know, these people sent me email and I didn't know. I have been approved for this. Mm -hmm. And he said, get ready for do re mi fa so la ti do. And I said, what's the meaning of that? He said, get ready to sing. Mm -hmm. And he came home and then we started planning. Mm -hmm. So he was okay. Wow. He knows I'm a very quote unquote crazy girl and so he he's good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I, I i noticed that all the time he was with you yes. did he go to sleep or because you were awake he was in oh the one time be they caught him and put him in the car to sleep because <laughs> he nearly crashed while I was going to get me food really? i think on he was the driving day. yeah i think it was that bad he nearly ran into a gutter so when he got back safely they caught him and put him in one of the v8s and on the ac that, that he should, should sleep, sleep. And one day, too, they, they, they tricked him to getting a massage and he fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they, they forced him to sleep mm. at some point. Mm. Yeah, mm. aside mm. that, he was running. How did you guys meet? Because hey. you married the three kids. Hey. Uh, you back a cry. Uh, I was going to look for work to do after school, after Sunyani Polytechnic. I had good grades. I had distinction in marketing. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do marketing for Daily Guide. Mm -hmm. So I went to his office space. And I think from his office, there's a glass that he could see through to the reception. Mm -hmm. So I was just there on my phone and I just saw a hand stretch. Hi, can we be friends? So <laughs> when you're straight. Yeah, also. I just come out of a broken relationship, so. Who is this one? I said, can I have your number? I said, no. You said, no. I didn't give it to him. And I was really scheduled to come back <laughs> for, for the follow-up of the appointment. Yeah. And there was IRS. They are into local meals. They used to sell around Daily Guide. Mm. So I come on mm -hmm. Then I go to IRS to order some fufu. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there with my elder brother. And lo and behold, he came. that is where he eats. So he came to stand there. He said, we meet again. I said, I'm being great. <laughs> He didn't ask permission, he just joined our table and then he ordered for his food, paid for ours. We started having conversations. He said he wants to drop us at home. He did and we became friends. So that was when I was at Live FM. Mm -hmm. And then I was doing sports. He, he, I also got to know that he's into he's sports. sports yeah. And then we began, you know, having friendships, conversations mm. and stuff, going on tournaments together. Mm. I remember Ghana, Egypt in Kumasi where we scored Egypt 6-1. The sit go, someone, one of the journalists carried me at the media center area. Oh my goodness. Oh man, no lash. Pa, 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 me answer. Put her down. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy, we are just friends. We are just friends. And now we'll be so, why you <laughs> <girl? laughs> so that day, <laughs> my dear, I want to. Now let me tell you what it is because now that they've started carrying you up, the next minute they'll take you away. And then he made his intentions. Wow. Clear. And I realized that he's a very supportive person and so even though sometimes to me had drink a crab but uh, normal so he, he mm. made his intention clear was uh, say so we, we should he wants us to, to go out go out and i said okay i was not dating so it was a good opportunity mm. to at know. what point did you also start checking my say hey quite cry like joke like joke he can be a fine catch -o. oh there was a day be now uh, bo and then I said he should go his way. I was on my way home and then I had a call from my cousin that he's in our house. And that he, ha he was having a meeting with my mom and dad. I said, this guy got nerves. <laughs> so I got home and indeed he was, he was there. there. And so I went to my room and when he left, my dad, my parents called me and they said he was there to ask them for permission that in two years time, he would want to settle down with me. I said, hey, now you to me, Ra will be fear. And so I'm out two years. <laughs> so Show so loud, man. I like this guy. I don't know, man. I like this guy. And we were not in talking terms. So the, the, he didn't hear from me that day. The next thing I saw was he had parked his car in front of our gate. He left the car and dropped me a text that whenever I'm ready to get back to him, I should drive to him. He taught me how to drive. So he left the car there. And then I mean the chat. 
Spade de Wokrum. I was not talking to him, but I was riding and, you know, having fun with my brother. And then one day I sat down quietly and I said, who is this human being that would have this heart to tolerate all this drama that I'm doing? So I just went to where I know that he eats his fufu. And then I drove there. I texted him that I'm coming. So when I went, he said, Akwai Emre. And then I told him that, of course, we can, we can move on. I realized that um, he didn't care what I was doing to him. But he's a bad person, though. He's very, very bad. Or Shedda. <laughs> he's bad. If he watches, he'll know that I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> he's quiet. But, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> he's bad. Yeah. So all you men out there, I'm going to pick up your money. You know how to, you know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> because all the strategies, I'm like, hey, but I was living, my house and his house was, was very distant. And you leave your car with me that whenever I'm ready to talk to you, I should Bradley. drive to you. I like this Calculated guy. Calculated, hey, pa. Touch your back, I want him as a guest here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want him as a guest here? <laughs> yeah, so that was how we met. And I, I just looked at some key character traits. And the most important thing is someone who would allow you mm, to, to chase grow. after your dreams and all that. Even though there are times he's human. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Those challenges are there. But I mean, we, we are okay. Wow. Sometimes I poke him small. Poke him small. And you have three kids. Yeah. Wow. Show three, some love, be man. three beautiful girls. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Which I wish all of them looked like me, but <laughs> two are cosen on one as <laughs> No, the middle one actually looks like the both of us. She looks like me and took the dad's colour. Mm. But the last one dear the last one was named after me but looks like the dad. Wow. But the first one is proudly me. Proudly you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Show some love, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation. Thank you. And too. I think you pretty much answered everything that I was looking for, you know. Really? Yeah, because. But would I, you want me to go again? Sorry? Would you want me to do the singathon again? Do I want you to? Can you give me a day or two to think about it? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm going to ask all my fans out there. At your own sanko be me. And I'll let you know what they say. I'll be you glad. Know. There's I'll a be part glad. of I'll be honest. There's a part of me that wishes you can go and do it and prove say, you know. And then there's also another part which says, in case say when ya eh ni hu hu or cancer, you know, and I, Can I also answer? Please, please. There's a part of me mm -hmm. that says that I didn't do this because of fame. Mm. Regardless, there is fame. Whether successful or unsuccessful, or there is fame. After the fame, what next? Mm. Your focus should be on what exactly made you start this, not where whatever it is has brought you. Mm. So I will not let what this thing has brought me be determined. the end and determine my faith, but rather what caused me to start whatever I started. Wow. That's my answer. Well, that's again, man. <laughs> 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 highly possible. Yeah. But me that's the same about you. Thank you so much. I saw you, you were like this. <laughs> I said, that is case. <laughs> and I've been watching you whilst I was a kid. I watched you from, from the day you started your wow. show. I watched TV with my dad. Mm -hmm. I'm very close to my dad. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this man I've been watching, mm -hmm. and he's here watching, watching me. me. And that alone is not a success. Wow. Please. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I came, and yes. I was so inspired when yeah. I saw you. I'm like, yeah. wow. We'll do 10 days, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting. <laughs> eh? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the man they call Ziggy Sports news. I'm a Ghana. Are you? Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Zigi di makoto matade abuwa den me se me deko akwa ku fesi Nigeria for here dia gana blaster for aye we ya nyadi ebi ya efe na sabi eje epo eje epo eje no nyan babi dru all African game wene nini na akone wye ye na ushe e ye ye fendi se e Egypt for na oma ya te papa 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 for mne di kain e na gana Yes or no? <laughs> Yet also six. I'm resting. I'm going to age forty-one. Now just say, I'm sure it's funny, dear. Now just think, eh, yeah, a dear, eh, yeah, modern boy, crack, 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 crack. Now we share black princess phone. Modern, we share mo. I'm born, I'm born, you know, eh, yeah, dear. Now, eh, yeah, nika, eh, fair. What means so come fast? So eh, pass, 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 phone. Now, eh, yeah, dear. Now, we share black star phone. We share crack, one here. We be trying to say black star phone. Eh, yeah, a man, man, so under twenty-four, no. Oh, I'm born first match, no. Now, eh, yeah. Then you fair in Tiamu, Mammy can work some shoes. Born under twenty four Nibono, and Yadio beat me a duetry. Send a coach to Uti, the one of our phone of friend was his giddy. Eti or Cabin or Giddy say, the first one, you beat me a queen when I may train a taxes back, whom you need. So born, sa taxes now, obit me a convenient with me to make come up on Tema, a man from Fancon, Coboga, and the Premier League in Ohana, and you will see it to him. So who perceive what you are your consultation? A Ziggy Sports Consultant, Oba, beat me, and Mount Phyllis, be a bit me, and they are calling him. And until Usha, under twenty, no, you're to me a bo, Yakwakoji, and also say, Yeah, the new Gandalf way, and your papa, 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 not just say, one of Jerry, a free year be very good shot, what the monk here senior or coin of fans of the Shigunu, a idea, a fepa. Nanny, I make can say, under twenty free. Black stamping for one more ten per cent, in fifteen per cent, in the end of the Mumukai. Under twenty four way, Mumumumun Tanasi. No more costs and more under twenty. No, you ye be brave. I'm called black star team. No, if it's a black star team, they don't be brave. I call retirement, but he into me who can't tell him more. Now, the twenty four number and on a new bill of a catch or see if he blast a team. No, yeah, they now call and only a dear idea. Oh, Sabi and Penning for see a boat dean a shambra, each day and a boat dean a two and branos to go a each day with Wado. Oh, Ben, I'm a dear Maui. Oh, catch a gun for what bread you need. You go, boo, yes, eh? Who to me cost any gun for? And yet, a jumabi. If it's a gun, a jumano, and yadia or condo. And the one a two four, a man there was signed away, you know, one who couldn't even caca. I saw people more gun, I said, Oh, baby, you're gun a juma. So when you go see, I come eighteen good years in ye Nigeria, a socks ball, and cardua ball. If it's a fitchy, a beer from what me I say, gun a pain. As one would say, when moon seventy, Nigeria forty me, I say gunner. Also, when moon seventy, Nigeria to me, I say gunner. Now, I dear Bakwa say you before some crown pie, you put that you know how you say and say you can assistant coacher. Just a coach in it, boom, and woman who she will pitch and so on. As I said, sorry, now the king be good as and you jump into John Pinty. See what is a savvy, savvy. Can I mind? I did not know who Buddy, eh, but I couldn't say as a German in your son, so no, so they do Kadaya or no put in that as a con. Quick, assistant coach for me and you know, she went to me and cash she and go to Adwasum and go to Adwasu General and also who touched herself born in Nigeria when I pay papi, 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 panager, Yanko Pandum, Paniti, Bakuku, Pima, you could chance a menu. If chance a menu and then young made him make a ball boy or coffer born with your crab with your mucha senior save you to eat at ye. On a day banu, with the mucha, yes, or pitching us. Na a fee, we say for my men, I try me too. A ye pack and as many as a bonus, we say, Miss Menfama, Miss Michel Gula, a ye. Na sabi in penny for see a penny ten fee a man quanavi nan can ye kind and carry for ye kind of can't you know Jordan see Debi and Guasi we and Fata or Kane neighbor and Oko J Bono move here or quite Jordan a fast super born it to him a ya dear na yede F pa na F ye na Chase a dear bako is gidi me that dream who a man said that I see a dang I gana full be musu hua or munti I see a dang mudia moshe a ye ye fen is a fatal Ye ni muse olele onyade. Wako se sasi sa e yi. Ye fe ni se e go ki pesipi yon mou nyade di omoba. E ni e di ya nwe gu olele so ni ya pam olele. Ne ya pam olele na wo fata wo. Ye an fa ombra ne betre ni go ki pesi ya. Na mou nshe a di ya fata wo jine chile wwa woye. Na ye fa onse betre ni go ki pesi. Anase ye fa onse betre go ki pafo wo. Se ni ya. Yesa. Na se nke asan kwa di anke bedi nke di go ki pesi yon bebasa mwe jayin ke nyo fata wo. And your fatal and kidney mamma. What you say? She go keep our day, Mua, your friend is saying, and in a jail for boy. Go keep your friend at the unfem, and to your Juman and I was so by your dear muse or your Juma. A Samson, our babet, go keep his name, a gun and fool who say, A sa, and our yede, O Babet, Zigidi, a bet army, the eight gentlemen, I want you to say, As the woe we, so a moon tankesia, ye general, a yasito, Zigidi, now she send it. Vetimica, bye. Just another one more time. Folks, we'll be talking to a few as and to a a new
the, 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 she, she contested and she finished. <laughs> and that's the important part. Yeah. And we're all extremely proud of her. One more yeah. time. <laughs> and until I come your way again next week, <laughs> KSM signing off as I've been doing since she was a little baby. Who can say me? I don't know. We are out of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>